The Angels. By Ann Albers, October 5, 2013. My dear friends, we love you so very much. It is a time of choosing upon your planet Earth, and yet in truth every moment is a moment of choice. Who will be your God? Will fear be your God, or will the source and creator of all life be your God? Will you give your faith and power over to institutions, money, your place of employment, your boss's co-workers' family, friends' spouses, and or the multitude of others who do indeed affect your life, but need not control it? Or will you place your faith in the loving Creator's ability to dance with you even when the darkest decisions or circumstances created by others affect you? God allowed humanity free will. The choices of others certainly affect you. If someone steals from you, temporarily you have less money. If someone lays you off, temporarily you have no job. If someone betrays you and leaves you, temporarily you are left with the sting and the pain. However, in the very next moment, you can choose. You can choose to give these souls your God-given power, or you can turn to the loving Creator. You can say, Okay God, I don't like this. Someone else has hurt me. But I know you are more powerful. You can see an infinite number of possible solutions. You can see more love, more abundance, more beauty and goodness than I could ever imagine. I have been affected by someone else, but I know you love me. Guide me, protect me, supply me with my needs. I trust in your love. Then dear ones, do your utmost to continuously remind yourself that God is God and that while the souls of others are indeed one with this light, their personalities might be deeply disconnected. They may affect you in negative ways. But ultimately they have no control over the outcome of your life unless you make them your God. If you place your faith, trust, and heart in the hands of the loving Creator, you are already on the way to healing your life, creating an even better reality, and as you say on earth, shaking the dust off your shoes as you move forward. You may be victimized dear ones, but choose not to remain a victim. Choose again and again and again to ask God to be your source, your supply, your guide, your friend, and above all, the dear one who is in charge of your life, your well-being, and your joy. In this reality others can temporarily affect your lives, but they will only put their fingers in the streams of grace that flow through your life, for in truth they are powerless to disrupt its powerful and loving flow. God bless you. We love you so very much. The Angels Sanit Kumara, Go Gently Into That Good Light By Taz Jima, October 3, 2013 Anemones Beloved brothers and sisters, I greet you. I am Sanit Kumara, now Planetary Logos for Gaia. Myself and my fellow Ascended Masters, Kith and Kin, are gathered together here to wish you congratulations for a job well done. The planet has ascended into the fifth dimension. We bid you to go gently into that good light, the light that now envelops your world and each of you. Become conscious of what you are becoming, what you are and have always been in the worlds in which the greater part of you exists in simultaneous time. It's time to wake up and see and feel the wonder of creation. What? You might say. Looking around and not seeing much that has changed many would question our words. And yet, if you but pause a moment during your busy days, there is a difference in how you feel. Suddenly many of you are feeling lighter less pressured, and if you are feeling pressured, it is coming from a resistance in you and those who are around you at work and home. Many of your compatriots, family members and friends are in resistance to letting go to the fading remnants of the third dimensional structures. Yet there will come a time and that is soon when they will let go and of their own free will. This change of heart will come as it has come already to those who are the way showers and light workers. It is inevitable for the supporting structures of the third dimension were removed last December in 2012. Only through lingering habit has the way of the old world continued on. This will end too due to changes in your own emotional bodies as the continual upgrades received energetically are stripping away the gunky matter stored in your individual and collective conscious. As these electrical thought forms and their corresponding magnetic emotions are broken up by the influx of cosmic rays and the light beamed in your direction by the great central sun, there will be less ability to react to events and people. There was once you were offended by someone's actions, 
there once you judged, you will find yourself not reacting, only pausing in wonder as you don't feel the old sting of emotional jealousy, anger, doubt or fear. You have been set free from the old paradigm and although most of the populace does not realize it, those sensitives among you do. Our scribe has recently felt the odd moment of joy, triumph and bliss. Her heart feels like it is glowing and indeed it is. She feels an answering resonance in some of her friends and in the messages of others like her. Finally, hope is felt by all who have struggled so long with their individual prayers healings and clearings. Finally the strength of the light has overtopped the shadows and is bringing its radiance into hidden corners revealing more of what has been hidden from view to be transmuted and transformed. Yes, there will be challenges to meet in the coming days, as physical structures and societal expectations can take a while to change. And yet you will be amazed when in coming years you take a moment to look back on all the changes, it will seem to have been done in an instant. Expect peace, breath peace and find peace in your heart and you will move through these potentially chaotic times with ease and grace. Release your fears. Release your self-judgment and doubts, release the old blocks that have prevented you from creating the life that you want and desire. Release those pronouncements made by parents, friends and enemies that you were a failure, that you would never amount to much, that you were not worthy or good enough to make it as a writer as an artist that you would not be able to fulfill whatever dreams that you held within as a youngster. In the past, as children and young people many of you have been shaken by statements or remarks made by others that you were not good enough to succeed or to accomplish whatever dream you have held. We tell you that you are beginning to sense the truth, you are powerful, you can create. There is much to learn about the process of conscious creation, but this you will accomplish in largely without the outer teachers, books and classes. The lessons you will learn will come to you through your heart connection with your guides, with your higher self and those multidimensional parts of your soul that exist in many times and places. There is no limit to your dreams. There is no limit to yourself, only your continued beliefs in limitation kept you weighed down, but not for long dear ones. The weights are being cut away. Your bodies are being transformed into crystalline light and you are walking upon the sacred ground of the earth. Magic is coming back into the world. As more parts of your greater being are integrated into your physical body, you will begin to notice colors vibrations, waves and patterns, light and feelings. All of your senses will expand until you can see into other worlds and dimensions. You will be able to see the elementals at their work, the angels who surround you and the beings that guide and protect you. You will begin to see yourself in an altogether different light for you are made up of light, you are consciousness wrapped up in waves of sound, the higher your frequency the more beautiful the light. There is so much in store for you in the near future but take each day, each moment as they come. Strive to live in the present and if you are willing begin to release the need to plan for the future. You can maintain a certain structure if it makes you feel comfortable but allow yourself play time so that both your masculine and feminine natures are satisfied. You contain both of these energies within and they will begin to come into balance as other parts of yourself are integrated. Masculine energies have dominated the world for a long time, one of the reasons for the misalignment and moving away from nature. No more. The sacred feminine has returned yet both of these energies must integrate and come into balance for all to thrive. The masculine part of your being creates structure and stability to allow the feminine to flow freely within creating and embellishing. Visualize a masterful tapestry. First comes the primary structure and upon that comes the decorative touches of embroidery design and color. Rest breathe meditate play spend time in nature and do creative projects but most of all free yourself of a need to follow the expectations of others. As an individual focus of God's light you are now free to open into your creative powers. Feel into it, experiment let go of judgment let go of comparing your results with another. Each of you is different and approaches a challenge from a different direction. It was meant to be so for life in the higher frequencies is rich with diversity. You will not be bored. The energies will continue to grow stronger until no one on the planet can remain in denial as much as they might like to. The cabal and those who work unconsciously for its goals will no longer hold the power over the people. The people are waking you, day by day more are waking up and remembering that they are powerful, 
that by acting together they can make life better for everyone. You are powerful alone and you are powerful together. Discover the ways that your energies and creativity can work in synergy to create a world of freedom, abundance, peace and love. Step out of the old unconscious barriers and discover new ways of doing things. Many things have to change and will as people suddenly realize that they are no longer bound by rigid ideas of how to do something, then their creativity will suddenly take fire. Scientists will discover many things in the coming years as spirituality and science come closer. The old superstitions and beliefs of many religions will be replaced by a more fluid and flexible approach. There is simply no one way to reach heaven. And you are in the process of bringing heaven to earth. You need not die to anything but your old beliefs and patterns that no longer bring results. Release the old and fly with newly fledged wings. Soar into the heights without leaving the ground, you are free. We rejoice to see a little more sparkle in the eyes of our light workers, those whose long labors have brought great change and opportunity to this planet and to all life here. Know that you are all loved and cherished for what and who you are truly, light and love, and for your great devotion to this work of the ages, the ascension of this planet which is also serving as the trigger to launch this galaxy and universe into higher dimensions. We go now into the spaces between the molecules that make up your bodies. Call upon the angelic hosts to assist you if you feel congested or challenged, they are at your beck and call in service to you out of love and devotion. Each one of you has an angelic light body in the higher world so you are calling on your friends and loved ones to assist. There is no need to feel embarrassed or to fear the consequences of requesting assistance. Call also upon the Ascended Masters and Archangels to assist you, during your sleep time to instruct heal guide and inspire. And do not forget those hard-working beings who maintain the earth air water and fire energies that create the world you walk through and the beloved elementals. Some of you will soon see these beings around you, especially in wild places, but also in unexpected places. They are the little workers who cooperate with the grand architects behind the scenes, like set builders on the stage to create the worlds you walk through every day. Change your thoughts, free your heart and your world will change in response for you are the creator gods who work with the elementals although in a mostly unconscious manner. Soon. However you will be fully conscious and more alive than you have ever been in all the lives spent on this planet. There is much that lies ahead and still much to release but your world is moving steadily upward in its frequency levels. Most of humanity is currently resting at a midpoint between 4D and 5D. Some of the way showers have leapt ahead into 6D and beyond. Go at your own speed, release fear and judgment and feel into your endeavors. You will discover that each of you has many latent talents and gifts just waiting to be watered and nurtured in the new energies. Before you know it, the seeds of your dreams will spring into a beautiful garden and all will find their great delight and wonder. We will stop now with this transmission to spare our tired scribe. Know that we stand ever next to each of you in the ever-present now. You are light you are love you are all beautiful and powerful beings. Namaste.